Well, everyone, it looks like iOS 26.0.1 still has a couple of problems, which is totally okay, because these types of updates are going to end up bringing a lot of improvements, you know, throughout time. Just right now, it's not really making it like, you know, it doesn't look like it's taking up too much sense to go ahead and stick with iOS 26. I would highly recommend updating to 26.0.1. But number one, one of the biggest improvements that we're kind of seeing is battery life across the board. But it looks like for a lot of people, it might be more of like a placebo type of effect. And there's not really a big improvement from a battery life situation. So I think that's totally, totally okay. It looks like that's going to end up kind of fixing itself throughout the next couple of updates. But as of right now, that's kind of where we're at. Keep in mind, it's going to get better throughout time. But as of this point, iOS 26.0.1, it definitely looks like it's going to probably take a little bit of time for it to get a little bit better from the battery life situation. On top of that, when it comes down to its performance, it's looking like it's getting a little bit better, but it's not gonna be a big difference. So if you're expecting to pretty much go through and like upgrade to iOS 26.0.1 and still get like a massively big improvement jump or stability across the board, that's not going to happen here. We're gonna to have to wait a couple of more updates for there to be a little bit of a better type of experience from that type of situation. So once again, kind of keep that in mind. If you're going to go through and pick up a device, that is without a doubt going to be one of the big things to keep in mind there for the most part. Now, I do think another really important thing to keep in mind here too, is that with something like your iOS you know, 26.0.1 device, if you have an older iPhone, something like an iPhone 11 or 12, you're pretty much going to get stuck in a situation where this type of phone as well is not really going to be giving you that great of an experience on this type of version of software. So you're much better off waiting until a later point to install that type of update rather than going through and installing one of these types of updates right now. But you know, you can still install 26.0.1. I would I would highly recommend installing 26.0.1 if you're already on iOS 26. But if you're not on it yet, I would recommend waiting out. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.